Good morning, everybody. I'd like to say a fine Sunday morning to everybody out there who may be watching and may not be. <clears throat> and for all you insomniacs that either are early risers or have to take a break in the middle of the night to uh, just to stretch out and try and get some more sleep, which is what I'm doing here on the East Coast. It's 5 o'clock a.m. Some of you guys are getting up, guys and gals are getting up uh, early, probably to go to work or church or to start your day. But I just thought I'd come on here and say hello to everybody and just see if there's anybody else out there that either can't sleep or are early risers or live in other parts of the world where you may be just getting your day started or in the middle of your day or in the middle of the night. So here we are. The weather here has not been all that great. It hasn't been the worst, but it's not the worst winter we've had. But it's not the best winter that I can remember either. We go through periods of snow, then not no snow, then snow, then no snow. Pretty much all winter long it's been that way. We haven't had any major like snowstorms in quite some time. Although I know that Roger up at Canadian Drone Hub, he's been having a lot of snow. Rodney Bell, good morning, Rodney. I know you're probably getting ready to go out and do your sunrise uh, flight. I just uh, had to get up and go take some pain pills. I just take over the counter. Back hurts. Legs hurt. I usually can only sleep for about two or three hours at a time. And I'm not complaining because I know there's a lot of people out there that have it worse than I do. So um, it is what it is, right? I just thought I'd pop on here and see if anybody else was up and about or maybe just in between catching a few Z's here and there. So Rodney, are you going to go out and fly this morning? I don't remember whether you guys fly on Saturday morning or Sunday morning. Today is Sunday, right? Yes. I hope all is well with you, Rodney. Yeah, Rodney, it just... Uh, one of the things we got to go through, it doesn't uh, doesn't get any better. I know, in fact, it progressively gets worse. I just don't know what the future is going to bring, but there isn't. I, I can't change the shoe for the future. And I hope that, uh, brother, your uh, your pain subsides a little bit too. I usually take about uh, three Tylenol and two Aleve at the same time. Probably not good for my kidneys, but at this point, you know, the pain is worse than my kidneys, so. Oh, okay, Rodney, good. I thought you guys were Saturday after I spoke and said something about going out flying. You guys usually do the sunrise, but I know not now I remember it was Saturday that you guys uh, usually all get together and pass the hat, as I call it. Oh, 
Rodney, if you'd like to come on, I can send you a link, but no need to. I understand if you're just kind of kicking back. I thought it kind of appropriate uh, to have the uh, lighthouse with the snowy beach. Okay, drone bub and uh, that crew fly this morning, okay. Yeah, I know there's some that go on Saturday and some that go Sunday morning. And uh, so that's good. It's good. It gives you guys something to do, right? Yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to stay on. I just thought I'd pop on and see if anybody was on. Oh, Rodney, that's a, I understand. I just didn't want you to think I I, I wouldn't. Um, and I get it. Uh, somebody invited me early in the morning like this, even though I'd say, hey, I'm not prepared for that. You got to be prepared to go live. That's for sure. Um, and sometimes it's just nice to sit back and, and type a little bit, not have to worry about how do you going to look and everything else and what you got, what lights you have on and not have on. Because as you know, Rodney, you don't just turn a computer on and go on. Yeah. Rodney, do you have security cameras where you are uh, around the house or? Yeah, I know Paul had uh, had started that about a year or so ago, and I know that Michael was involved in 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 the early stages, and then his uh, he kind of comes and flows in and out. Um, well, Rodney, I'll tell you, I uh, I found a great camera setup you buy these individual cameras they're little cubes and then you buy a housing for them they come in two packs they're wi-fi but they're pretty damn good and they're like uh, 47 dollars for two of these video video cubes and they do day night and i'll tell you what they're pretty spectacular the 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 night shots and the day shots are awful damn good and I think you can buy two of them and then you can buy extra uh, uh, extra long. They have to have a little power plug, you know, USB to, to, uh, to a C, to a, to a mini or whatever it is. And uh, you can get a 26 foot two pack for, you know, 16, $17 and then uh, the, the cameras themselves are 47 or 48 dollars and then the little housings are 15 dollars for you know for like 70 80 bucks you get two cameras that really do a nice job i i just bought two of them um rojo robert turned me on to them and this is what it looks like right now outside here that's the front of the house 
and um, I can change the camera Go like that, tap the corner. Then if I want to change it, I have to go like that. And here's, there's the two, the two cameras that shows them and you can select which one you want to look at. The one on the top is north of the house and the other one is the shot we're looking at in the front. And uh, as you see a car just went by, it spots it for you and watches it. So for the money on Amazon, I was just amazed, uh, you know, because I, I have another camera on the garage, different brand, and uh, it was not cheap. And it doesn't do anything more than what these little guys do. And they're really easy to put up for the most part. And Robert told me last night, I ordered two more. Robert told me last night they have a little USB connection on the back of them that I couldn't figure out what the heck they were good for. And uh, he says, oh, no, he says, what you can do is you can daisy chain them together up to three off of one USB where you have the little brick that you plug into the wall. Um, you can daisy chain three of them together. So like if you want to have one, two, three, you could do that and just loop to loop and then the plug the one in. So I, I was, uh, that, that really intrigued me. Yes, Amazon is the place. That's where I got them. In fact, I'll show you real quick if you, if you would like, if you're interested, because I just think it's the greatest thing uh, for the money. Um, let me pull up my Amazon online. Go to my orders. Thank you. Back here, share. Hey, Rodney, I think you should be able to see it by now. I'm not sure. I bought the Echo Show 5 because they said you could view it through that. I'm doing it on a tablet. Um, so the Echo 5 is just sitting here. I didn't realize the Echo 5 was just like a five inch screen that you would have on some uh, cell phones. I mean, it's nice, but, um, and they had them like at a half price when I bought it. But, um, these are the little wise cameras. They come in two, two packs. I just ordered another set of two, like I said. And uh, they have, uh, like I say, they, uh, they go into a little housing. And uh, they have wireless smart home camera with night vision. You can actually buy these and put them in the house as well if you wanted to. I know Robert has them in his house and outside. And then what you do is you want to put them outside. You buy this little mounting package, which has two in the pack. And for $14.99. And they're adjustable and they hold it up. See, <clears throat> they come with a magnetic ring that you can just hang it up on a wall somewhere, like in the house. But for outside, you want this cover over them and the fact that you want to tilt and everything else. Um, and that's what I bought. And then the other thing that I bought for them is right here comes in a two pack as well because you get two cameras 26 foot extension which i thought was for 26 footers i thought was really a good buy um, and they even come with these little um right there they come with the little things to anchor them if you want to put them to the wall or you know tidy them up but you get two packs in the box for 16.99 
you can get them in white or you can get them in black. I got the white ones. And the cameras you can get in white or black too. So that's pretty much what I, uh, what I, what I've been up to. Okay, I'll post the, the link in the chat. Let me pull it up again for the camera. Copy. All right, Andy. Yeah, I thought those were pretty good cameras for the money, you know, because you can spend 100, 200 bucks on cameras, which is what I spent on the other camera. And it's a uh, it's okay, but it, it isn't any better than what I've got over there. So for just one. Nebo, how you doing? Good morning. Yeah, we're just doing an early morning, late night, early morning, depending upon where you are in the world. Um, get together don't know how long I'm going to be on but um, <coughs> couldn't sleep had to get up and take some pain pills waiting for the pain pills to kick in a little bit <coughs> it's uh, where I am it's 520 in the morning about 520 518 actually and um, Rodney was kind enough to jump on and say hello. So at least I had somebody to talk to. I showed him up in the chat was a link to uh, some indoor and outdoor small little cube cameras that are day night at a hell of a price. I think they're like on Amazon. So they come in a two pack. Wise is the name of them. W-Y-Z-E webcams. They come with accessories. In other words, you can buy the little housings and mounts. I think they come in a two-pack, too. Um, really easy to mount them outside. You just have to run the USB power cable to them. And uh, what I learned from, I, I found out from Rojo all about these. What I had learned is they, uh, they you can daisy chain them together. You only have to run one power cable to one of them, and then you can power up to three, I think, is what Robert said. 11.20 in the morning. Woo, there you go. Yep, W-Y-Z-E, wise. I'm sure if you just pull up wise, um, indoor outdoor cameras they come they're, they're like a little small little cube and you lift them up and they have a little stand so you can tilt them and everything else and turn them um but when you mount them outside you leave the stand up inside them which kind of like secures the outside and they snap into this little housing cover side <clears throat> and they just plug in the back 
and uh, yeah, Nebo, they're they're pretty pretty slick for the money. I I I, I was amazed at at the quality. Of the pictures are Nebo, they're really good. Now, I'll show you what I showed Rodney earlier. Is there's the there's in front of my house, and this is nighttime here. That's the night vision. And uh, you uh, you can load up multiple cameras. What you do is you come up here and you tap up here. And you tap that, spins around. Then you've got to uh, tell it to go back here. And here's the here's the two cameras I have running right now. And then what you do, if, whichever one you want to look at, this is the north of the house, and this is the out front of the house. And you just, uh, if you want to watch whichever one you want to watch, north of the house, you just tap on it with your finger. Of course, this is a touch screen. And touch it again. And there it is. That's the north of the house. So not bad for a little dinky, inexpensive night cam. And, and uh, Robert bought like five or six of them. He's got them around his house. And he even has them on the inside because you can use the little stand. Um, yeah. Really is for the money. I was impressed. When you get them, what I did find, though... Uh, I had a little bit of problem with them when I first got them, but it was because what you need to do is set it on the desktop. Don't just go try and install them, and you have to do a quick update. It has to update its its uh, software, then it, not a problem. And then what once you activate it on the desk, you can just you don't have to worry about it. Once you plug it in, it will stay activated. So, you, in other words, you don't have to worry about climbing up a ladder or putting it someplace. And then as soon as you plug it in, it, it self-diagnoses and activates. And, yeah, it's a nice little, nice little camera, set of cameras, actually, you get two. And the housings, uh, I think the housings are like uh, $15, $16, $17 U.S. And, and then I bought, they have extensions, a 26-foot extension um power cord that i bought and then they come two in a box as well everything comes in a pair of twos uh for you kneeball i don't know how much it would cost um you'd have to go look it up you have i would take it do you have amazon there in france i would imagine uh just type in wise security cameras and it should pop up I don't know why they wouldn't have them over there. Um, I can show you what I paid US. Um, let me go ahead and share and I'll... Uh, I'll be happy to show you. Okay, I don't know if you can see that yet or not, but that's the outdoor mounts and how they how it goes together. That's just the mounts, not the camera. And so the mounts alone are fourteen ninety nine US, um, and they come in a two pack, so fourteen ninety nine, so seven bucks for the housing. And let me go back here and see. Here's the cables I was telling you about. Two 26-foot cables. For power cable. Because they come with about a six or eight foot power cable in with each one. They also come with a magnetic mount for inside or in a garage or whatever. Uh, where you can just put this on the wall and it would, they would stick to it. Then you can adjust it however you want to. Um, but that's the 26 foot cable for the security cam. 
you can get them either white or black. Um, and I'll show you the cameras, which, which to me are just impressive. And I'm watching them on an iPad, so, which I leave plugged in all the time when I'm using it as a monitor. So in the US, it's 4286 uh, for two, a two pack. And there it is with the stand, with the stand pulled down from underneath it. There it is in the compacts. And there it is using the magnetic mount on the wall. And there it shows you get the magnetic mounts in the middle and, uh, and it, what it comes with without buying the longer extensions. But everything, when you order from them, everything's in two packs because you're buying two. So that's pretty much what I was, was showing Rodney. I just, you know, everybody's trying to catch up on security. So Nebo, how is the things going on over there? What your weather good or bad or cold or rainy or icy? Yeah, yeah, Nebo, it does. It, it's uh, for the price. I bought another camera. I bought one that has the. Uh, solar panels on top and the three antennas on the back thinking that that's all I need and I could just attach it out on my front of my garage and I put it up and within a couple of days I found that a cloudy weather and other things it just wasn't keeping up with the power demands because of the the cameras on 24 7 so I ended up having to drill a hole through the garage and put the power cable to it too. So that solved that problem. But I mean, I think I paid 180 bucks for that one and I don't think it's any better. In fact, uh, here's the $180 view. I don't think that's much better than what, you know, what the other one is nighttime view Oh, there you go. French Riviera. Yeah, south of France is nice. I take it that's where you are. Yeah, I'm not going to be on too long, guys. I just... Uh, Thought I'd come on and say hello and see how everybody's doing and, and uh, what everybody's up to. And Rodney Bell joined us, and Rodney's uh, up here in 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 the U.S. as well on the East Coast. And uh, I don't know whether you've had you've uh, had Nebo on before on on any of the channels you go to Rodney or not, but he gets around too, and he's in uh, Southern France, as he just said. Well, guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it quits for right now. Um, 
I usually go on and catch Roger at nine on Canadian Drone Hub. And um, so maybe I hope to see you guys along there. Uh, um, thanks for coming in and joining me. Rodney, you have a great day and uh, stay out of trouble. And Nebel, you, uh, you're in the middle of your day. So hope you have a great lunch. And uh, I will see everybody again next time. I'm not, uh, I just don't, I just pop on whenever I'm not on a schedule. So everybody take care. Have a great, ev a great evening, day, night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see everybody again next time. So everybody stay safe and sound until next time. Bye for now.